today we're going to compare footage between two cameras, both manufactured by Blackmagic Design. The production camera 4K, a camera that's about 10 years old now, and the new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. For the sake of this comparison, it is important to point out that the 4K has a global shutter. So with any movement, you're going to see a more stable image on the 4K than you're going to see on the 6K. For anybody not familiar with this, uh, when you don't have a global shutter, you typically have what's called rolling shutter. The image can kind of sway back and forth when you move the camera in a whip pan, even if you just move it under certain circumstances. I've used them both together on a professional commercial shoot as part of a two camera interview setup. Both of these clips have been graded. It's a very basic grade. No LUTs were applied to this. Uh, everything was balanced properly when we shot it. So it was just a matter of getting things to match. It did not take long to do. Another interview that I did, same thing, similar lighting setup and uh, just used these both cameras as an A and B camera. The same color science was applied to both of these. I wasn't looking for a specific look. This was a commercial shoot. We just wanted it to be clear, somewhat colorful, and lit properly. So that's the key, lighting things properly when you're out there in the field. We're going to take both of these cameras outside. It's a nice day out there. So let's try to composite the shots the same and see how the footage looks between the two. And for the sake of comparison, I'm going to put the same glass on both cameras. I'm going to use the Sigma 18 to 35. There's a little bit of a crop involved with the image here, but the point is we want to see how the image comes out. Does it retain information? Does it retain the colors? I will say that the 4K camera shoots better in ProRes than the 6K does. This is just my opinion. I've shot a few things in ProRes on the 6K. And when I started shooting in RAW on the 6K, I noticed a huge difference immediately, mostly in the clarity. Um, everything that I'm shooting, I am properly exposing for when I'm shooting in B-RAW on the 6K. I didn't notice a big difference in the Cinema DNG on the production 4K camera versus the ProRes. What it comes down to is they're both producing a really good image maybe a little bit more wide range of colors on the 6K, a bit of a brighter, crisper image on that camera. Uh, it is a new sensor, so there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, really thank you for doing this and hitting that like button and subscribing, it means a lot. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear suggestions on what you'd like to see, what, you like, what would you like to learn about. I'm happy to share my personal experience with all of you out there. Uh, let's help each other, let's build each other up, and let's make some creative stuff. Thank you.